I love you so much. Hey guys, it's Haley and I'm back. And today I am not in my normal spot for filming, which actually, you know, I don't even have a normal spot anymore because the place where I usually film, the lighting sucks in there lately and I don't have like a light thing. And so I've been filming in the bathroom, which is really awkward, but I'm home alone right now. So I thought that, hey, maybe I can just film right here in the open in the living room and be as loud as I possibly want to and nobody cares and it's really exciting and I love it but actually I've hurry up because my mom's gonna be home in like an hour and not that this video is gonna take an hour you know what I don't know I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go and see what happens you know I'm really I'm feeling really good today I'm feeling good because my school canceled and it's just it's a good day you know it's a good day so I figured hey why not film a video and plus I have to upload this video tomorrow so it's like hey I gotta edit this thing tonight but you know it's fine I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna start and see what happens whatever so anyway, today I'm going to talk about what to do when school cancels or what to do on school cancellation snow day things. Um, depending on where you live, I don't know if you have a lot of these, but since I live in Pennsylvania where it snows and where the weather is ugly all the time, then we tend to have a lot of school cancellation days so actually today as I speak is one of them and as you can see I'm sitting here making this video so obviously I do not have many social interactions with humans but that's all right so since I can't take my own advice I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what to do on school cancellations because you know I tend to sit there and be really bored all day and my day just goes to waste so you know there are millions of ways you can spend your school cancellation day and I am gonna tell you some of these ways so you can make your day great the first thing that we tend to do a lot of is have a lazy day and this is certainly an option because you know who wants to get up and make themselves look somewhat attractive and who wants to go out when the weather is terrible and disgusting so really what better option is there to just keep your pajamas on keep yourself looking as crappy as possible and just lounge on the couch and watch some Netflix. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Because, you know, I most certainly do this every day where I fill myself up with a bunch of unhealthy, delicious foods that I probably shouldn't eat because diabetes runs in my family. But still, it's fine. It's fine. Because you know what? As long as I am having a good old lazy day, that is all that matters. Shut up, I'm trying to be unproductive. But this option would be to get done all that homework that you have been procrastinating for the past God knows how long. And I know I've had this problem. I always tell myself that, hey, since I don't have school, I may as well get done some homework and, you know, catch myself up on all the things that I've missed from those days that I haven't been in school and those days that I've been slacking off and not paying attention in class and falling asleep. But you know what? That's beside the point. Anyway, so that is always an option. Well, time to get some homework done. Well, that's enough for the day. So this option would be to karaoke and dress yourself up and make yourself feel like a superstar. I do this a lot, but only usually when I'm home alone because I can be as loud as I possibly want to be and nobody cares except for my neighbors who show up at my house because they think something's wrong because I'm screaming. I just want to ask you that you please don't record yourself and put yourself on the internet when you karaoke yourself unless you're sure that you sound good. We've all made that mistake. Take me to church, I'm dog. The last thing that I came up with is to call up your friends and hang out with them. So this is a day where you can just hang out with your friends all day and not have to worry about being in school or being in class or thinking about working because you can just hang out with your friends and chill and catch up on the things that you are behind on. I wouldn't know. I don't have friends. <laughs> So those are just some tips that I came up with on how to have a good school cancellation day and that, I mean, t there are millions of ways that you can spend your time doing it so I hope that this video helped you. Um, 
I guess the majority of people will probably end up doing the first option because that's what I've already decided to do every single time my school closes because I don't have the motivation to do anything, especially schoolwork. So if you like this video and you agreed with anything that I said, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and it would be awesome if you could share this to, to Twitter or whatever thing you want to share this on. That would be amazing of you because I'm really trying to get my videos out there more. Um, and yeah, so if you know anybody who likes watching YouTube videos and likes watching people make a fool out of themselves on the internet, then you should probably tell them about me because that would be great.